will nicht eure Hände sehen. Ich will mit euch durch Wände gehen und mit Worten Brände legen. Am Blatt vom Mund ist in das Regen. So, uh, welcome to the Tagesrausch today in English because I have a non-German visitor. This is Jo Omen. I met years ago at the, my first NCOD meeting and I asked him to explain a little bit to you about the European scale of drug policy and how you can be involved in this. <laughs> Maybe start with an introducing of yourself. Uh, well, I, I'm uh, 48 years old. I'm uh, working as an activist on drug policy uh, since 1993. I started uh, uh, to work around a coalition of NGOs that would uh, bring uh, another message inside uh, the European drugs debate, the message of uh, citizens that are directly affected or concerned by this policy. And we started uh, with uh, an initiative around the, the north-south angle of this uh, issue to try and influence European drug policies to be an alternative to American drug policies to create uh, a margin for, uh, for debate on how is the best way uh, we can organize and we can regulate uh, the market in, 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 in controlled substances, taking into account the needs of the producers on the, on the production end of this market and, of course, the needs of the consumers. Uh, in a non-prohibitionist approach and um, well, we have been working for 17 years uh, and we have been able to set up uh, a platform of about 160 members that uh, work uh, through uh, uh, well, assemblies where we come together like this time and uh, decide about what should be the global uh, policies and then a, a small uh, group of people who follow these decisions and try to implement it, and then the secretariat that, that does the daily work, and I'm still responsible for that. Okay, so you're the, the, the body, and right now we have the head, we have the general assembly making the decisions, and you're the poor person who have to make them work. Yeah, I should be the, the hands and feet uh, of the organization. Uh, no, no. Uh, of course, many others do voluntary work, but I should uh, put it into motion, yeah. Uh, do you see a real chance for consumers of drugs to be involved in the political decision process, or is it like a Don Quixote work? Uh, there is a lot of Don Quixote in it, yeah. You feel that we are pioneering in an area that is uh, taboo, so uh, politicians and, and, and civil servants have a problem in speaking about this because they are limited in their speech, they don't even want to really approach uh, citizens that are directly concerned because they are afraid of what they will hear, they, are, uh, that they do not know how to handle this information but they also there show that they know very well that something is wrong on this end. Uh, so they, 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 they want to show that they are including uh, civil society and NGOs and that part of, 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 of the whole phenomenon. But if it comes to it, they in the best case listen to you, smile at you, but ignore totally uh, what you have said, or just pick out the, the things that they can use for their own purposes. So I'm not very hopeful that we will in the coming next future see a, a really open debate, an open dialogue between uh, citizens and, and, and politicians about this. But uh, that we also found out, we are discovering also how politics really work. Uh, it's not necessary to have uh, always this idea that you have to be represented through political parties or NGO platforms or people that, that do the work for you uh, to, to change things. Uh, politicians are important, but what is more important is what happens uh, on a daily level and, and, and in society and that also by uh, proposing models and, and trying slowly to implement these models and sh show this in all transparency 
uh, what you want and what you want to obtain, why do you want to obtain it and why did you take this step um, in spite of what the political system uh, yeah, f allows or facilitates and also apart from the political forums where the debate is going on that you just go around it and, and, and make your own uh, model and try to implement it within the margins you have and then push these margins uh, so they get broader. And there is uh, the idea of, uh, of the model of the Canary Social Club that was already implemented in Spain by some of, of organizations that became a member and introduced this idea and, and we spread it, we tried to put it up in other countries as well and we, we lobby for it because we think it's an active uh, thing that people can do. They don't need to uh, go inside a lot of documents and prepare political statements and so they can do this uh, to show something to politicians and to the media and to become a part of the debate. And uh, we hope to continue this also on a global level with new initiatives so we can combine let's say the lobby function we have, we speak to politicians, we organize hearings, we, we, we try to write our proposals down, but at the same time we also act and, and show to people, also normal people in the street, uh, what this is really about and, and, and get them interested in, in the subject also if they are not consumers and slowly gain the hearts and minds of people to show them that, that common sense should start to rule and uh, we should get rid of politics that doesn't work, uh, that don't work, and uh, are costly and uh, create a lot of harm. Yeah, I couldn't say it better. So if you want to read more about Job and ENCOD and the work we do on a European level with a uh, hundred and something national organizations involved, please visit ENCOD.org, as you see down here. Thanks a lot for the interview. Thank you, Steph. Hope to see you soon. Yeah, me too. See ya. Bye bye. Ich will nicht eure Hände sehen. Ich will mit euch durch Wände gehen. Und mit Worten Brände legen. Am Blatt vom Mund des Sinners wegen.